Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Irtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making deconstructed lacano dolmades, which are also known as cabbage rolls. I'm making them in a red sauce, but you can definitely leave the tomato sauce out of this and give it, a, give it more of a lemony twist to it. I'll also put those directions in the written blog post. This is, these are so good. These are like lazy cabbage rolls. All of the flavors of cabbage rolls with a quarter of the work, maybe even less. It comes together in under an hour and it is so comforting and very delicious as always. Let's get started. So we're gonna begin by finely chopping a large onion and then we're gonna get it into the pan with about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. You could use less olive oil if, if your meat is a little bit on the fatty side and sprinkle in a little bit of salt. If you want to add carrots to this recipe, you could also dice up one or two carrots and add them in with the onion. Cook it over medium heat for about eight to 10 minutes or until the onion is nice and soft and golden. In the meantime, we're gonna take a big head of green cabbage and we're just gonna roughly chop it with a knife into slices. Once the onions are ready, go ahead and add the garlic. I have four garlic cloves that I've grated and I'm just gonna add them in and let them warm through for a few seconds and then the beef is going in. I have ground beef here. This is 85% lean with just a little bit of fat in it and it's gonna go in and I'm just gonna break it up and brown it just a little bit until that redness goes away and that's just gonna take a few minutes. Then I'm gonna season with salt and pepper and add in the remaining ingredients. So I'm gonna add one 15 ounce can of tomatoes. If you wanna leave this without the tomatoes, just leave them out, no problem. These tomatoes are unseasoned because we're gonna add all of the seasoning ourselves. I usually like to add a little pinch of sugar when I'm adding canned tomato sauce because it's a little bit acidic, but the cabbage is slightly sweet and so are the onions, so we don't need any sugar at this point. We're gonna cook this over medium heat Heat for about 15 or 20 minutes or until the sauce thickens and the meat is fully cooked. At that point, you're gonna go in and you're gonna add the cabbage a little bit at a time. Now, if you're starting this off in a big pot and the cabbage all fits in there, go ahead and throw all of that cabbage in, but make sure that you season it with salt and pepper. You want the dish to be very well seasoned so that way there's a lot of flavor and salt is magical, you guys. Do not skimp it. So go ahead and add the cabbage. If it doesn't all fit, at once, just add it as it wilts, and trust me, it looks like a lot of cabbage, but it is gonna cook down to almost nothing. You're gonna cook this for about 20 or 30 minutes over medium, medium-high heat, or until the cabbage wilts down and all of the juices that are released dry up, so that way you have a nice, thick sauce. Give it a nice mix, and then at this point, you can taste it and adjust the seasoning, add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. If you wanna add some crushed red pepper flakes for heat, those would be really nice too. And then I like to squeeze lots of fresh lemon juice on this. The juice of one or two lemons, the, the lemonier the better in my book. But once the cabbage and the meat is all cooked, I just squeeze lots of lemon juice on top. If you want to add some fresh parsley that's finely chopped for a little bit of freshness, you could go ahead and do that. If you want to add a little bit more earthiness to it, you could add a teaspoon of dried oregano or dried thyme, take it off of the heat, and it is ready to be served. You could serve this over white rice. I did cook some white rice in my rice cooker. It's so easy to do that. I didn't record it. It's basically equal amounts of rice and water. So if you're doing a cup of rice, you would add a cup of water, a teaspoon of salt, and one or two tablespoons of olive oil. You mix it all up and you press white rice and it's done. <laughs> I'm gonna serve this over rice later on to my family, but it also tastes good with a nice side salad and maybe some toasted bread to soak up those delicious juices. It's time for the taste test. Mmm. Cabbage rolls have to be one of my all-time favorite foods. And this has all of the flavor of the cabbage roll. None of the work. So easy. My mom always makes cabbage rolls for me every time I'm visiting her in New York. And I love them. It's just so comforting, so delicious. If you want to make an afgolemono sauce and pour it on top, you be my guest. <laughs> That'll make them even better. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website. DemetriusDishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. If you want to learn how to make my other versions of stuffed cabbage rolls, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.